everybody. This is Island Hopper TV coming to you from Tamarindo. There's the Natives Way, Costa Rica. Tourist packages and transfers with the restaurant right next door. So we are in Tamarindo. We're going to do a walking tour through the town. Okay. You can rent these right here, the quads. We can do an action tour, ATVs. They also have one that includes ATVs and jet skis. Anyways, in this tour, we're going to walk the main drag here, which I'm coming up to right now. And then I'm going to take you through the city center and then onto the beach. Right now, we are actually getting ready to go out on a, I guess you could call it a booze cruise or a sunset cruise, even though it's uh, 1130. We're going to go out on a catamaran for a few hours. See if I can get across the street here. There's the White Lotus Coffee, Nordico Coffee House. Papaya con leche, which is papaya with milk. It's like a juice. Let's see here. I'm going across the road as soon as I get my first chance. Here we go. You can run a motorbike, like that guy. Oh, we got a hat. All right, anyways. Like I said, it's about uh, 11.30 in the morning. Things are just now sparking up. So there's like several beach towns in Costa Rica you have some beach towns like Dominical, down by uh, Manuel Antonio. And you have Jaco, which is pretty much everyone's favorite from the area. There's Arena's skate shop, by the way. From uh, San Jose. When you go into San Jose, they're always trying to tell you, you want to go to the beach? And when they're trying to get you to go to the beach, it's going to be Jaco. Which is just north of Manuel Antonio. And then there's a few others in between there, and you have Punta Arenas. There's this little food area. Last night it was bustling full. That's where the ATM is, the only one that I found in town, right there. I'm sure there's more. And then there's Tamarindo, which is in the north. As a matter of fact, if you know anything about Costa Rica, you know there's two main international airports, San Jose and Liberia. If you were going to go to Tamarindo, you would probably want to definitely fly into Liberia. It's about an hour and a half, depending on traffic, hour to an hour and a half from the Liberia airport. If you were to go to Jaco or Manuel Antonio, you'd probably want to fly into San Jose. I would imagine Liberia is probably a little bit faster processing time because I've heard horror stories about processing in San Jose airport, going through immigration, taking two to three hours. So do be aware of that. Anyways, this is like the main drag right here. Okay. We've got Uluwatu, which is, for those of you who know, uh, Bali. Uluwatu. It's a beach down there. There's the beach, you can kind of see it. Have no fear, we're going to be going there in a moment. The area we're coming up on here shortly is going to be the city center, which leads right out to the beach. I could probably walk through there, but you'd miss the city center. The first night, my hotel, I got a two bedroom apartment, real small, but two bedrooms at least. For that privacy 
and that cost $150 and then One tonight is a hundred and eleven, but it's two separate rooms, two separate hotel rooms. Instead of one room, one two bedroom apartment, we're getting two separate rooms. It's a hundred and eleven dollars a night. That's a cash price. Here in Tamarindo, they definitely like their cash. So you guys know pure vida, which means pure life. They say that quite well. Hola. Here are lots of Pura Vida, Pure Life. It's actually a Mexican saying. When you come down to Costa Rica, it's definitely its own vibe, but you do get this feeling that Mexico is its big brother. Big brother Mexico. Although, I don't know if many people would agree with that. It's just as a foreigner's perspective from a gringo. Because you see just as many Mexican restaurants with tacos and stuff as you do anything else but here's the uh, beach resort right here Tamarindo Diria just want to show you guys this and we'll get out to the beach before we go out to the city center this is a beautiful hotel I know you guys wanted to see this just because it's right on the ocean the one I'm staying at is a bit more inland. The further inland you go, the safer you are from a tsunami. <laughs> but further you are from a beach. That just fell out of that tree. Just to give you a little bit of insight into something else. I, uh... This morning was eating breakfast on the beach. There was two iguanas in a tree and a squirrel. And... He was just hanging out in a tree like that, you know, up in the tree. And I felt some, like, something wet, like, drop out of the tree. I thought it was, like, maybe rain or something, but it was, like, something like this. Oh, it was an iguana just peeing and then pooping onto the table. <laughs> Not ideal. But it does happen. So here's the beach. We have made it onto the beach. You can see I've got my hat on today. I bought this for 20 US dollars. It's a big hat, nice sun protection. Get some bodyboarders out there at low tide if you guys are enjoying this video be sure to hit the like button as we continue to walk the beach here it's kind of walking up to this little drainage area probably want to get a as far away from the drainage area as you can. Let's see, is that where we ate last night? No. I'd rather not get this drainage water on my feet. I don't know where it's draining in from. This is another beach lounge. The area I'm really just showing you is kind of like the city center area. There's uh, obviously the town goes in that way a lot more, and it goes that way some more. I'm not showing you that way really. It kind of curves around. And then you got the Bay of Papagayo on the corner. You got Flamingo Beach 
Coco. And then you keep on going, you end up where the Four Seasons is. Four Seasons obviously being a very high-end hotel. Closer to Nicaragua. Now I did ask, is it good to go north to Nicaragua? Is it possible? And all the tour guides I asked said, no, no, not safe. Don't even think about it. Not safe. Which was crazy because I wanted to go to Nicaragua. I've heard people talking about going to Managua, which is the capital, but none of the tour guides seem interested in that. Now, I did ask about going to Bocos del Toro, the mouth of the bull, what it translates to in Panama. Mouth of the bull, Bocos del Toro. And they said that would be fine. Panama seems to be Costa Rica, people recommend Panama, but they don't recommend Nicaragua. It's too much corruption. It's just what I hear. And then, getting to Panama though, crossing the border is not as easy as you would hope. I think you need a blah, blah, blah test, bleep, bleep, ton of tests, you know what I'm saying? Negative test. So this area I'm coming up to now is actually at the city center. We got some horses. This is actually where I'm going to be meeting my catamaran here in the city center. Hola. Bueno, gracias. Hey, these are the guys who are selling me the uh, tour. Un video, video, un momento, yeah, see. Those guys sold me the uh, tour for $80 cash per person. I think it's like a four or five hour tour. But here we are. Tamarindo. Look at this. City center. Just kind of want to show you guys around the city center area here. Let us know when you guys are going to arrive in Costa Rica. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. Obviously, because I've been here in Costa Rica for a few days. This is my second time, actually, to Costa Rica. So, I can provide lots of information for you. Oh, gracias. I've seen some sloths. I've seen lots of toucans. Toucans are common. No monkeys yet. Let's see what we got. Burgers, wings, tacos. Yeah, there's the uh, city center area. But there's a little bit more to this town. I just kind of walked around the central area. Hope you guys got a good idea of the beach and the center of the town. If you guys did, hit the like button. Consider subscribing to this channel, Island Hopper TV. Watch some more of our other videos across Costa Rica, Colombia. Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands that we just did here in the last month, Dominican Republic also. Ooh, I'm not going here. And we'll see you on the next one.